Hello, I'm Cornelia. I'm an applications engineer on the products Aviso and Amira, and I will be hosting today's tutorial on advanced measure creation, or as we call it, advanced quantification. This quantification is performed via the label analysis module. This tutorial has been recorded in Aviso, but all the features are available in Amira in the Ximage Pack extension, so it can be fully replicated by Amira users as well. This tutorial will cover several topics related to creating measures. First of all, we will be having a closer look on the Measures Group Selection dialog in the Label Analysis module. We will see here how we can create a new measures group and fill it with predefined Aviso measures. We will then see how we can create a custom measure based on existing Aviso measures and standard mathematical and logical operators. In the final part of the tutorial, you will learn how you can configure some of the native Aviso measures. Let us start by loading the dataset on which we will be working. We will have to go to the Aviso installation folder, slash data, slash tutorials, slash multicomp, and select the dataset cellbodies.labeledregions.am. This data is already segmented, meaning that the structures of interest have been identified and are ready to be quantified. Should you want to learn how to get from the raw data to the segmented image, Please follow our tutorial on getting started with image processing and analysis, the basics for 3D image processing. On this dataset, we can attach a label analysis module. In the properties area of this module, we have the measures group selection dialog. This dialog gives you the ability to manage several groups of measures, among which four are defined by default in Aviso. The groups of measures can be modified independently. They are automatically stored in the user settings so that changes are persistent when restarting the application. You can select any measure from the list of measures provided with the application. More details about each measure can be found in the list of available measures accessible from the help page. Custom measures can also be created from the existing ones. If we go back to the label analysis module, let us see how we can manage the measure groups. First of all, we have to click on the button placed next to the measure group selector in order to open the measures dialog. The top part of the dialog displays the list of all measure groups and a set of tools. The list can be used to browse the measure groups and select the group. When the dialog is open from a module such as label analysis, the group selected in the measure selection port is directly displayed in the dialog. Reversely, when the dialog is validated, the measure selection port is updated with the measure group selected in the dialog. With the measure group tools, you can create a new empty group, save a group loaded from a project file or a script, groups created from a GUI are automatically saved, copy an existing group into a new one, Rename an existing group. Remove an existing group. The four default groups are not editable. Nevertheless, you can copy them with a new name and edit them. These four groups are the basic group used for 3D images containing measures of volume 3D, area 3D, barycenter X, Y, and Z, and mean. The basic 2D group used for 2D images containing measures of area, barycenter X and Y, and mean. Standard shape analysis group containing standard shape parameters measures. And the weighted shape analysis group. Below, the panels on the left list user and native measures. The right panel lists the measures selected in the current group. To add a measure to the selection group or remove it, just double click on it in the list. To add or remove several measures at once, select them and use the central buttons right arrow and left arrow. The delete key shortcut is also available to remove the selected measures. Now, let's say that you would like to compute a measure that is not defined in the Aviso native measure list. In this case, you can create custom measures by combining existing measures in a mathematical expression. 
To create a new measure, click on the icon above the list of user measures. After prompting for a new measure name, this will open the measure editor. Once created, new custom measures are listed in the user measure list. Some tool buttons are available next to each user measure to re-edit the measure expression, save it if the user measure has been loaded from a project file or a script, or remove it from the list. All user measures are listed in the top drop-down menu. The expression area is updated according to the selected measure. The selected measure can be copied, renamed, or deleted with the tool button next to the user measure list. Note that a user measure should be explicitly removed from all measure groups before being deleted. The main part of the dialog deals with the editing of the selected measure. The first parameter is the unit dimension of the result values generated by this measure. This unit dimension will be combined with the unit of the analyzed label image to define the exact unit of the output result values. If the measure dimension is area and the coordinate unit of the input image is centimeters, the unit of output values will be squared centimeters. The second parameter is the measure's mathematical expression. The expression syntax supports a set of basic operators and mathematical functions to be used with existing measures. Supported operators are listed on the left of the expression area. Available functions and measures are listed below the expression area. As a shortcut, you can double-click or drag-and-drop keywords from the bottom list into the expression area. You should note that the working unit should be used in the expression. For more information about how working units are set, you should see the automatically determine or manually set the working coordinate units tutorial in the documentation. The expression definition is checked on the fly and colored according to its validity. Green if the expression is correct, red otherwise. Let us try to define a measure for sphericity. First, we will edit the name of the measure. Then we can start writing the expression. The sphericity can be defined as the ratio between the surface of a sphere having the same volume as the current object and its actual surface. Thus, we will be defining this measure based on the native measures in Aviso, Volume 3D, and Area 3D. From this, we can define the sphericity as 6 times Volume 3D to the power 2 thirds multiplied by pi to the power 1 third divided by Area 3D. Please note that we have used the constant pi that is predefined in Aviso and listed on the left side of the window. You have certainly noticed as well that as we were writing the expression, when it was not valid, it was colored in red. When the editing is finished, we can close the dialog and return to the selection of measure groups window, where we can add this measure to a measure group. When applying this measure group, the corresponding column will be added to the resulting table. Let us now take a look at the configurable native measures. Some measures can be configured with additional parameters. Those measures are identified in the list of native measures with this tool button. Click on the tool button to open the label measures attributes editor. There are six kinds of attributes that can be edited through this editor. Ferret angles for Ferret 2D measures, which perform measurements on XY plane along a given number of diameters of each cell. Angles are uniformly sampled on the range of 0 to 180. By default, there are 10 angles every 18 degrees. Ferret 3D angles for Ferret 3D measures, which perform measurements on 3D space around each cell. By default, 31 3D samples are used. Co-occurrence directions for measure based on the computation of a co-occurrence matrix to classify a given direction 
dx, dy in pixel pairs by their gray level. Histogram parameters for measures based on the computation of the gray level histogram of each label. Configurable attributes are in the range of gray values to consider and the size of the bins to generate. By default, those settings are computed automatically. Contile values for configurable histocontile measures. See also contile of a histogram. Breath 3D sampling for the breath 3D measures which search for the biggest orthogonal Ferret diameter to the major axis found with Ferret 3D. The breath 3D value defines the sampling which will be used on each orthogonal plane after Ferret 3D has been used. The sampling of Ferret 3D should be set in the desired value before using this measure. Please keep in mind that attribute values are common between measures. This means that when you will edit the number of Ferret angles for the measure Ferret shape, for example, all other measures based on the Ferret angles will use this new value. Note that only the attributes supported by the edited measure are enabled in the dialog. The last topic we will be covering in this tutorial is project backup. When you save your project, all the information required to re-perform the analysis is stored in the project file. This includes the measure group selected for the analysis and the expressions of the custom measures. Consequently, when the project is loaded on another computer, the new definitions of measure groups and custom measures are loaded in the new environment. Nevertheless, the local storage of these new definitions on the new machine is optional, and the new Save button will appear near these unsaved items. It is not imperative to save the new items, they are fully functional and can be used until the application is closed. You should also note that if a custom measure or group is already defined on the new computer, but with different values, the definitions from the project are automatically renamed to avoid conflict. This concludes our tutorial on advanced quantification. In this tutorial, we learn how we can select a certain measure group, create new measure groups from existing measures, define a new custom user measure, configure existing measures, and what happens at project backup. Thank you for having watched this tutorial and please join us again for other tutorials on how to use Adizo.